question and answer series for the month of July and let me pull out that question and uh, late start to this month but uh, expect a nice little flurry of videos here uh, over the course of the next few days so this question involved contest prep and carb intakes and here it goes so Lyle McDonald thinks that only people with excellent insulin sensitivity should diet on high carbs so I was wondering why all 3DMJ athletes diet on high carbs. Would fat loss be greater if you swapped out carbs for fats if you didn't have great insulin sensitivity? Uh, so here we go. Not all 3DMJ athletes diet on high carbs or diet on high uh, caloric intakes. Um, everyone masticates. Everyone. But we all um, we all consume very different amounts of food. Even even when you have two athletes with very similar profiles sometimes. And here's, a two, here, here's an example for you. So two athletes that a lot of you guys know, uh, Chris Lovato and, and Matt Ogus, very similar profiles in terms of, of age, uh, in terms of, of, of weight, uh, training load. So very similar individuals, but um, Matt Ogus uh, loses fat relatively well on, 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 on a really high-carb diet. Whereas Chris Lovato is the exact opposite of, of Matt in that usually we keep his fats higher throughout most of his prep and his carb intake is a little bit lower. So he's, he is one of those people who thrive um, on a higher fat diet, lower carb uh, kind, of, kind of deal. Whereas Matt is, is the exact opposite and the majority of his calories come uh, via carbohydrates. Um, so yeah, you could have two athletes very similar profiles, totally different diets. So what I ended up doing with this question is I polled athletes in, um, at, in, in our uh, Facebook page. So it's a private Facebook page that is for uh, past and current 3D muscle journey athletes. And I, I, I inquired about what did the deepest, darkest leg of your prep look like? You know, when we were really uh, digging and as I like to call it, you know, striking for a um, for a contest shape, what did your numbers look like? And uh, keep in mind, a lot of these numbers are um, are a bit on the low side. But this is not where we live the majority of our prep. Again, it's a small window. It's a small portion, a small leg. That last leg to get exactly what we want out of that prep, and then get out of there. But um, as you can see, everyone's digging phase certainly looked a bit different and um, you might recognize a few of these names so uh, yeah let's let's get that uh, that video rolling